Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys are here. It is Wednesday and right now I am headed to the store, a couple of stores. I have quite a bit of things to pick up, just a few things that we've run out of in the kitchen, like flour, mustard, you know. I don't buy mustard often, but um, made Angelina's sandwich for school today and used the last of the mustard. So gotta get some more of that and a few other things. So I'm gonna run to the grocery store. I have to return something to Target. Um, a friend of mine has just opened a thrift shop here in the area recently. So I'm gonna stop by. Today is like her first opening opening. Uh, she had a soft opening the past weekend and I wasn't able to attend that, but this is her first day open and so I'm gonna give her a surprise visit so um, got just gonna be doing a whole lot of things I'm gonna go and uh, complete the information that I need to complete to get the labels finished for sincerely Legenia for all of our labels um, a local printing company here I like to support local business since I myself am a local business so uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today today is going to be a vlog in addition to all of that, I'm gonna also show you guys what I eat in a day while I'm out on keto. We've got some um, bananas at home that my husband got and they are going, you know, starting to go bad. We haven't even had them in the house a week, guys. I really hate that. Um, so he loves banana bread. I've never made banana bread, but I do not want to throw those bananas away. So I'm also going to be making banana bread today. No, I'm not gonna eat any of it but um, I'm going to use those bananas. So I'm gonna make some banana bread and hopefully give some to my family that's out here as well because I know my husband's not gonna eat the whole loaf. So anyway, I just want you guys to come along with me. I love spending the day with you all. And plus this daily vlog will kind of get me ready for Vlogtober that's coming up. Uh, I'm gonna be participating in that again. So anyway, let the day begin. Come on guys, let's go. First stop is Target. a couple of times a week so I wanted to get one of these cleansing systems and I thought they were gonna be a lot more expensive than what they are have you guys tried any of these if you have let me know I think I'm gonna go on and get one of these today um, I'm trying to decide which one of these this one here or this one I am not sure okay I think I'm gonna go with this one We'll give it a shot. Rio Thrifts. This is my former employee, uh, Marissa, that owns this shop, and I'm coming to support her today. So, guys, she has some wonderful things. Go and visit WallRealThrifts.com and uh, check her out. She's been doing thrifting for years, um, even when she was working for us as a dance teacher at BP. And now she has her own shop. I'm so happy for her. And it's in a great part of town, too. And this is us. And there's Marissa. Say hi. Hey guys, she has a fabulous shop here. I've already done my shopping, actually, and I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys some of the things that she had. And when I get back home, I'll do a haul so that you guys can see what I bought. But right now, this is um, this is like your first day. This, this is my opening. first day. Yes. Right. Hey, this is her first day opening. First day. And she had a soft opening, like I told you guys earlier, but um, I missed it. So I wanted to make sure I got here today. So she has a lot of home decor. It's really nice. And the feel in here is just really nice. She's already got some customers. I'm so happy about that. But I did purchase this candle right here, the orchard candle. 
and I'll finish showing you guys everything else that I got when I get home. But let's go into this area right here. She's already got some customers. just finished it now I'm getting ready to put it in the oven and you all it's smelling really really good so I hope he enjoys it but this is the banana bread and I'll show, you, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out of the oven okay I have just pulled the banana bread out of the oven and guys I am so impressed with how beautiful it turned out take a look at that isn't it pretty I hope it tastes as good as it looks I'll ask my husband to um, see if he'll get a taste of it tonight if not then I'll, I'll probably have some for breakfast in the morning but turned out great guys hey good morning everybody welcome to sincerely Legenia. today is a monday august the 23rd i do believe yeah i think today's the 23rd anyway i'm on my morning walk this morning i've got to get back into the swing of it just doing my morning walks on a regular basis so I thought today would be a good day to start and yeah I'm just gonna take you guys with me I'm taking a different trail this morning really nice it's a little bit shaded because it's hot out here it's almost 90 degrees right now so I'm taking a different direction because there's a lot of trees and a lot of shade so anyway uh, yeah I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of the trail and uh, hopefully we'll knock out a good three miles today He's sitting there. It was so cute. I yes, tried to um, catch him before before he moved, but he moved out of the way. Anyway, he was sitting there so sweet and peacefully eating. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to catch him in the act. car I uh, didn't get three miles in but close to it I'll let you guys see my results when I get to my car here and we'll hit that three mile mark. I'm gonna have to get out here earlier because it is just too hot. 
Okay, my friends, I am headed home right now. Um, it is just a little after 10, and I've actually got to be somewhere in about two hours. And I am really hungry, so I am gonna go home, of course, shower and change, and get me some lunch. I made a huge soul food supper for my family yesterday, and um, I did indulge and get me some cornbread. Okay, I made uh, collard greens with smoked turkey, and I made a, um, a ham, a honey-baked ham from scratch. I'm gonna have to show you guys how to make that ham. Now, I did use honey in it. Um, I have a honey substitute. I don't really like the flavor of it, and I didn't want to mess up that beautiful ham by putting uh, a flavor on there that I'm already not fond of. So, I used regular honey, two tablespoons of regular honey for the ham, and, um, and then regular sugar, regular white sugar for the, the honey baked glaze that goes on it. But anyway, really, really delicious. Oh my gosh, it turned out really well. But I think what I want to do right now is go home and I just want the greens with the smoked turkey. And I actually think I want to wrap it up in that rice paper that I used in a previous video and uh, just kind of cook it up a little bit in some sesame oil. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna have for lunch, maybe two of those. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back to show you guys what I'm having for lunch. Well, it'll probably be brunch because I haven't had breakfast. So I'll be back to show you guys my brunch. And then I'm going to take a caramel iced coffee with me when I leave. So yeah, come on guys, let me show you what I'm eating for the day. All right guys, I'm gonna show you this really quickly. I don't want to go to all of my places of business today. It's smelling like food. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, cook my food first and then get changed again because I don't wanna go smelling like food today. Delicious greens here, you guys see that? <laughs> these were so good. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these in another video here really, really soon. So delicious. Yeah, I gotta show you how to make them. It took, uh, took a good minute, but it was worth it. I'm telling you, it was so worth it. Uh oh, I think I cracked my rice cake or my rice paper. I called it a rice cake. My rice paper. Yeah, I did crack it a little bit, but it's okay because I'm just gonna fold it up anyway. It'll be fine. I'm gonna leave it as is and we're still going to use it. I'll use that part to roll. All right, guys, and because I'm in a hurry, I am um, moving rather quickly here, and I don't have my, my regular lighting set up that I usually have when I make my videos, but I did want to show you guys like how it is, how I just grab stuff sometimes <laughs> and sometimes throw things together when I am in a hurry. So... I don't know what this is gonna taste like. I just thought about it and we're just gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna get my, my greens here and I'm just gonna make a couple of these, literally just two of them. So I'm gonna get the greens that I prepared, put them on the paper, that delicious turkey inside of there, turn it towards me and I'm going to roll this bring in the sides, just like that. And this is the part that's cracked up here. I'm sure you guys can't see it. Yeah, there it is, it's cracked. It's literally coming undone, but I'm just gonna roll it on up, just like this here. All right, and there we have it. There's one down. Put it over to the side, <clears throat> roll. All right. And there we have it. We've got another one. They're really soft. Okay, they're really soft, so I don't wanna mess with it too much. Okay, so I've got my two, um, I don't know what you call it, collard rice rolls, collard green, I don't know, <laughs> but I've got the two of them there. All right, everybody, so here's my sauce. I don't wanna keep boring you guys with the same old content, so if you want to know how to make this sauce, I'm gonna leave a link to um, how I made this sauce right here in the corner. It's gonna show up there. And right now I'm just adding cilantro to the sauce. Yeah, I don't wanna just keep being repetitious with the same old stuff, so. 
Anyway, the sauce is divine. Got everything in there and I'm gonna mix it. Um, I do use, and I'm out of this now, so I gotta make sure I go get me some more today. The, uh, in place of the brown sugar, I use the uh, Lakantos golden sugar, golden monk fruit, so delicious. Uh, tastes like brown sugar. So, so good. So use that in the place of your regular brown sugar for this recipe. And then of course use liquid aminos instead of regular soy sauce. It really, the regular soy sauce is just fine too. The liquid aminos is just a better version of it. Okay, it still tastes, it tastes the same. It's really delicious. All right, sauce is ready. Mm, tastes fabulous. All right, now let's get our rolls onto the skillet. I've got it over there heating up. Here I'm going to add some sesame oil to this. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit too. I don't want it to burn, Lord knows. Lord knows I don't want it to burn. Make sure I spread that around really well. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop this on in. All right, guys, and here we go. This is my collard green stuffed <laughs> uh, rice rolls. So just another way that I always try to make my food more fun and innovating, especially if I have, um, especially if I have several different types of leftovers left over. I try to be creative in how I utilize those. So anyway, here we go. I'm gonna see how it tastes. All right, everybody, let's see what this tastes like, and then I gotta get out of here. Dip that in the sauce. Mmm, y'all. So good. Mm -mm -mm. So, so good. So good, guys. So just be, be creative. Be innovative with your leftover foods. You know, try to find a new way to eat them. Okay? Uh -huh. This is my newest way. <laughs> and uh, right now, I gotta get out of here. So I gotta go upstairs and get ready. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I am ready to go, but just before I do, I want to make myself an iced coffee. Um, I wanna show you guys this little bitty espresso maker. It's a little bitty stove top espresso maker that I got. Like, it was on clearance at Kroger for like $9 and 80 something cents, something like that. But I had seen these and I said I was gonna get me one and I saw where they were $10 on Amazon. Um, but I decided to go out and get it since it was just a few cents cheaper. And uh, let me show you guys how I made espresso out of this with this little bitty machine. All right, everybody. So I am making three shots of espresso. So to do that, I'm going to use my little bitty measuring cup here. It's literally a little shot glass. And what you do is you take off the bottom of this, the base, and then this comes out. This is what we're going to put our espresso in uh, because I want three shots. I'm going to put three shots of water in the base and three and i've got some coffee here these were just regular coffee grinds um i've ground them up a little bit more for the espresso and i'm going to get my espresso or my coffee and i am going to put it in this part here for my three shots, I'm gonna put in two and a half of these, and I'm gonna pack it down a little bit. They say to pack it down, okay? Pack that down a little bit, and then we put it at the bottom, right there. Then we put the top on. Just like that. And we put it on the stove top. All right, so I'm just gonna sit it right directly in the middle of my stove top like that. Turn it on and I'm turn it down. I like for the flame to be surrounding that. Whenever the espresso starts to come up, I'm gonna lift that up so you guys can see it, but that's it. So simple, so simple. And there it is, guys. It is coming up and it is smelling oh so good. All right, and when that begins to slow down is when I turn the burner off because I definitely don't want it to burn. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going to put my iced coffee together and I've got my cup of ice right here. So what I'm gonna do is just simply pour my espresso over the ice and yes, the espresso is hot. That is okay, trust me, it is okay. All right, so I've got my three shots, and then I've showed you guys this before. I use the Premier Protein Caramel Flavor, and I just go right in. I have a little bit left from a coffee I made yesterday. I'm gonna finish the rest of it. And that's not quite enough. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. All right. And then we're gonna mix this up. And before I put the lid on, I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. Oh, good. Good, good stuff. All right, and that is it, you guys. This stuff is so good. I mean, who needs Starbucks, okay? When you have your own espresso maker at the house that was only like nine bucks. All right, guys, I am going to quickly, before I close out this video, do an unboxing. I ordered the Circle water bottles that I've been seeing all over social media. I ordered it. And we're gonna see what the hype is all about. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this packing, okay? So number one, I, if you follow me for quite some time, you know I'm really big on packing and your packaging when you deliver something to me. The product is literally just thrown into this bag not impressed with the packing packaging at all i don't feel very special right now okay now when i saw this on social media i had seen a nice box that people were getting uh why didn't i get the box i just paid full price for these items so let's talk about the contents they're in. Um, all right, so I've got my circle water bottle right here. Nice, that's nice. I've got the lid to it right here. All right, seems to be nice, okay. A nice water bottle. I actually do like this. A little nice water bottle. And y'all, the circle, it's spelled C-I-R-K-U-L. Okay, C-I-R-K-U-L. You've probably seen it if you're on Instagram or TikTok as much as I am. I'm sure you've seen this product before. Some of your favorite social media or influencers have had it. Uh, this packaging does not make me feel special at all. Literally, it's just thrown in the envelope and that's it. Um, these are the instructions, all bent up. I don't think that's pretty cool. I don't think that's cool at all. Um, it says how to enjoy. Fill your circle bottle with drinking water and attach the lid. Unwrap your flavor cartridge. Insert it in the lid opening and fasten by twisting clockwise into place. Turn the dial to adjust flavor strength up or down. Once the cap, uh, open the cap, tip the bottle upside down and drink from the bottle like a straw. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So let's look at my flavors. Okay, I've got um, a good few flavors here. And I'm gonna try a couple of them for you guys. All right, circle this. Uh, mm -mm, no, I like to feel special when I open a package and that was not a special feeling. Anyway, I'm hoping the flavor and everything else will impress me. So I've got several of them here. Let me show you uh, the variety of flavors. I have a uh, strawberry lemonade. I have coconut pineapple. Mm, I love coconut pineapple. This may very well be the first one that I try this. Um, raspberry lemonade. I've got fruit punch. Um, let's see, I've got sweet tea and lemon. Yum. Uh, oh, and the next and then I have strawberry kiwi. Now, a couple of these, a few of these um, are the same flavors that I've had. But all in all, I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different flavors. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try it on camera for you guys. I'm going to go and wash this out really well. I'm going to fill it with some cold water and uh, we'll probably go with that coconut pineapple because I love coconut pineapple. All right. So I'll be back, guys. I'm going to go and wash this out. 
Okay guys, I am back. I've washed out my bottle and uh, I said we're gonna go with the coconut pineapple. So first I've got me some cold water here. Let me actually get me a sip. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. Let me fill up my bottle. Mm, love me some water. Put the top on. And yeah, we're gonna go with coconut pineapple. It's gonna be the first one I try. So excited. Put the flavor is nothing like that wrapping, that wrapping packaging that it came in rather. All right, so this is my little flavor tube and this is how it comes. Okay, you got the little spout right there. So I'm gonna put that on here. Make sure you guys can see good, yeah. All right, and on here, there is a dial, okay, for the amount of flavor that you want to come out, how, however much flavor you want to come out. Okay, okay, it goes all the way up to uh, 10, it looks like. All right, so it says, so I would assume that for extra strength, you want, want it on 10. All right, so let's go right now. Let's go with, let's go with the mid number. Let's go with five. Open this up and, oh, there's a thing back here for you to put. Okay, that's, I saw somebody do that. There's a thing back there to put your lid, your top back there to clip it on so that it doesn't move. All right, I think that's it. All right, let's give it a try. That's some good stuff. Oh my goodness. Mmm. You guys, delicious. I, I love this. I don't know. I want to know now how long one will last. Um, servings per container, about 13 servings is a uh, serving size is 1.5 milliliters of water. So, um, so one of these equals one, two, three, four, five, six, 20 fluid ounces of water. Wow. So, uh, yeah, this seems to last quite some time. And that's when it's on a medium setting. Okay. So I make sure I get all that clear when it's on a medium setting, you guys, total carbohydrates, zero carbs. Let's look at some of the ingredients in here. Filtered water, natural flavor, citric acid, uh, sucralose. Um, yeah, potassium, sorbate, um, sodium, benzenate uh, to preserve the freshness. All right, so uh, the sucralose. Yeah. Okay, but um, not a fan of that. It is zero sugars, not a fan of the sucralose. Uh, but it's really tasty. Uh, I am going to finish these right here. Um, again, really tasty, guys, really tasty. I like that one a lot. Uh, I think I'm gonna try one more while I'm here on camera with you guys. Mm-hmm. Even with it being on medium, I think I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I think we'll put it on three. I think uh, I'm better with three. Because while five is good flavor, uh, it's almost overpowering. And it's amazing how that is. But anyway. Mm-hmm. I like the dial on three a lot better. Really delicious. Let's try one more flavor. Try, uh, let's try the strawberry. Let me make. Strawberry lemonade. Here we go. All right, let's put the dial, this dial on. Guys, y'all know I can't see good. 
have it on four as well. Pull this back. All right, let's give the strawberry lemonade a taste. Mm. Very tasty, tasty as well. Okay, you guys, I'm really impressed. Um, not at all impressed by the, okay, so, okay, the ingredients on this one is a bit different. Filtered water, natural flavor, citric acid, salt, potassium citrate, potassium citrate, uh, stevia leaf extract, okay, uh, sodium benzonate uh, to preserve the freshness, um, okay, and some other stuff that I can't even pronounce, so I'm just looking crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to definitely finish these, and I will be, you know, I'm going to probably buy this again, almost positive, okay? Uh, I am going to talk to them about their packaging because that was not cool. But other than that, it tastes really good. Um, I, it's really good. A good way to get some water in. Um, if, again, you, you don't want that, um, yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna want that sucralose. Yeah. But other than that, it's delicious. Thank you.